Let's begin in standing Shavasana. Root down into the earth through all four points of your feet. Hands can draw to heart or beside your body with palms facing forward. Lengthen through your entire being as you stretch the crown of your head to open to the possibilities. Reach arms up and overhead and find some side to side movements, lateral stretches, a little back bend, and then bring hands through heart or swan dive forward fold, relax head and neck. Halfway lift, inhale as you length. Exhale, tuck and curl, draw everything in. Take a moment to decompress around the neck and the shoulders. Come down to your knees, untuck toes, sit hips on heels. Be here for a few moments with your breath and then we'll find some side body stretches, palm to earth as you reach up and over. Do this a few times or interlace hands behind low back and start to stretch gently through the front line. Lengthen crown of head as you do so and then tuck chin to chest for a little bit more stretch to the back of the neck. Take some deep breaths and then rock chin to chest and then ear to opposite shoulder. Close eyes and embrace a little bit more stretch and breath into the body. And come through to a forward fold. Rise up, mountain pose, Tadasana. Pause, hands at the heart. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, side body stretch. Take a deep breath in and then exhale, back bend. Reach high, mountain pose. Interlace hands behind you, chest expansion, forward fold, relax head and neck on the way down, draw knuckles to the ceiling. A little bend of your knees, side to side sway, release forward fold. Halfway lift, inhale length, exhale, tuck and curl. Roll shoulders away from ears here. And again, come down to knees, this time standing on your knees for modified side body stretches. Interlace hands behind you, open up through the front line. Once again, drawing tailbone down, protecting low back by engaging core. Draw chin to chest and then find your shoulder movements, chin to chest, ear to opposite shoulder. Inhale, reach up, exhale, hands at heart. Come back to your tuck and curl and forward fold. Inhale, rise, mountain pose. Exhale, hands at the heart. Interlace hands, open up, rise, side body stretches with the exhale. Inhale, reach. Step the feet hip width apart and find some sunflower movements here or continue to move side to side, Ardha Chandrasana, half moon. With sunflowers, you're engaging core from center. Everything is moving, opening, deeper breaths. Relax head and neck each time you fold forward. Come to center and then I call these Maui movements. Root down through your feet, bend to the knees, engage the core and just let everything go as you fold and move the arms. Relax head and neck. One for each chakra, seven times through, move the body. Continue to find your root system through your feet. Pause, samastitihi. Inhale, open up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, length, halfway lift. Exhale, tuck and curl. Release to the knees, standing on your knees. Breathe. Little baby camel pose here. Hands can support low back, top of the glutes. And then extend your left hand towards your heart, reaching out into the world with this energy of being able to open up to receive. Change sides, right hand from the heart, extending to the world the ability to give. Hands to the earth, tuck and curl, forward fold. Step the feet hip width apart or a little bit wider and enjoy a nice deep fold ragdoll pose. You can relax head and neck here, hinging at your hips, bend at the knees, soften face, and then slow rise all the way up back to mountain pose, standing Shavasana. Balancing here into the first chakra, root. Extend and lift your right knee. Move into airplane pose. Feel the inner spiral of your right thigh. Push through your right heel. Bend the knee, draw your knee towards your chest. Come back to one leg mountain and move into figure four. Cross right ankle on top of left thigh. Sit down and back, hands at the heart and maybe elbows or forearms come down to your shin. From here, you can focus on a little bit more depth by sitting back and down. 
Come back to one leg mountain pose. Extend now through your right heel. Activate the core. Breathe in. Exhale, mountain pose. Change sides. Lift your left knee. Turn toes in towards your shin and then start to move into airplane pose. Feel the power from the top of your head to your extended heel. Activate triceps in the back of the arms. Start to bend the knee, draw your knee with you as you come to standing mountain. Cross into figure four, sit down and back. Start to breathe into the hip opening. Keep the weight into your rooted heel. Shoulders away from ears, chest is free. Breathe. Find a little more depth and then rise up, one leg mountain pose. Extend through your heel, lift through the core, breathe. Exhale, release, mountain pose. Standing Shavasana, palms face forward, deep breath in, ground as you exhale. Inhale, rise, mountain. Exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Chair pose, Ukatasana, inhale, airplane torso and arms as you exhale. Do this a few times, reaching arms up and back or add in a twist. Vertical right, vertical left. Exhale, airplane torso. Inhale, reach. Exhale, forward fold. Relax head and neck. Step back into a low lunge. Right foot forward, left foot back, and then lower left knee to the earth. You can use a block or a prop underneath your back knee for a little added support. Crescent moon as you rise. Fingertips can reach over the shoulders or you can keep fingertips down on the floor for a modified lunge. Working into hips, thighs, and psoas. Palms can also come to the front of the thigh. Feel like you're stretching the flesh of your thigh forward as you sink into your lunge. Inhale, reach through fingertips. Exhale, vertical twist to the right. Exalted, hand to low back, reach up through your left arm and fingertips, tilt back ever so gently. Pull chin back towards throat, but keep the neck open. Breathe in, reach. Exhale, touch the earth, low lunge. Adjust into runner's lunge, bring palms inside to the right foot. Toe heel, right foot out. You can keep your back knee down or lifted. Eyes of the elbows face in towards one another, shoulders on the back, broaden through the chest. Breathe into where you're feeling the most tension and the most opportunity to release what no longer serves. Paint your body with your breath. Start to engage into your lunge, step back, high plank pose, pause here for a few breaths. Invoke the energy of your strength, your power from your center. Lift your hips up and back, downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Take a moment here to settle in. You can bend the knees, lift your heels. Palms are shoulder width apart, feet hip width apart. Melt your chest towards your thighs. Take a breath in as you bend your knees and exhale, settle your heels closer to the earth. Deep breath in, exhale forward fold, top of your space. Halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana, inhale. Relax head as you fold forward, exhale. Inhale, chair pulse. Exhale, airplane torso and arms. Interlace hands for a little more chest expansion. Roll shoulders back and then hinge at hips. Bend knees as much as needed for a forward fold. Halfway lift, breath in. Step opposite foot back, low lunge. So left foot is forward now, right foot is back. Draw your back knee to the earth or to a prop. Fingertips can stay down or reach into crescent moon, fingertips over shoulders. Feel Tadasana in your upper body here. So navel drawing towards your spine, tailbone drawing down, lifting the sternum, bend elbows and turn eyes of the elbows in. Stay with fingertips reaching or palms can come to the front thigh. Again, you can always lower fingertips to the earth. Breathe into the stretch of your hips and your thighs. Take a breath in, crescent moon, exhale, vertical twist. Moving into exalted, hand to low back, reach up through your right fingertips, tilt back a little bit, pull chin to throat, breathe and open up. Take a moment to come back to your lunge and then adjust to a runner's lunge, toe heel, left foot out. Back knee can be down or lifted. To intensify this stretch, you can always lower down to your forearms or to a block. 
It's easy to get distracted here, so continue to focus on your breath. Start to come out of our runner's lunge, step back to a high plank. Breathe here for a few more moments, engage core. Inhale, let's open up side bodies here. Modified side plank, bring your left knee down to the mat, open up and extend through the right side body. Movement through the arms and then find some mermaid stretches as you reach up, like you're curling your arm over a big beach ball round. Inhale, reach. Feel your shoulders on your back here. Exhale. Bring your back heel down to the mat for Gates Pose. Variation here. We pulse to get into the obliques. So fingertips float away from the earth. You pulse for seven to 10 breaths and then fully arrive into Gates Pose. Expansion through your arms. Tilt up and over. Breathe in. Breathe out. Bring palms down to the mat. Shift your hips and your booty back. You can untuck your toes and bring your hip onto your heel. Keep pressing your palms into the earth to get a little bit more stretch, lengthening from your low back to the crown of your head. Keep your back heel down. Slowly rise up. Pivot forward. Tabletop. We change sides. Right knee down. Left leg extends. And then find some movement here, reaching your arm up and over, breathing with your shoulder blades on your back like wings. Some mermaid curls as you reach up and around like you're curling over a beach ball. Core is active here. Breath is fluid. We'll find a pulse in the leg here as you lift your leg. Turn your toes in towards your shin. Take a moment here and work into the core on the other side. So fingertips float away from the earth. You pulse for seven to ten breaths, engaging into your obliques. Rise up into Gates Pose, up and over, you stretch. Come down to the earth, draw your hip back towards your heel, untuck your toes, push into your palms to get a little bit more stretch. Pivot forward, tabletop. Let's take a couple cat cows here. Just wanna feel the chest opening, the back stretching, the core is activating even more. Tuck toes, come through to a plank pose. Downward facing dog. Lift your hips up and back. Lengthening tailbone and then stretch heart towards your thighs. Inhale, right leg up and back. Exhale, land in a low lunge. Rise up to your crescent lunge. Take a moment here, bend the back knee, stretch. Find intense focus here. Your drishti is a laser-like gaze forward. Blur the room around you. Settle front knee over your front heel. Tailbone draws down. Take a breath in. And then on exhale, open up and a little bit of a back bend here as you drop and dip your hip back and down. Open up to a vertical twist on the exhale. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist. One more time. Inhale, reach. Exhale, twist, two or three times each side. Breathe in. Exhale, open up, warrior two. Front heel in line with the inner arch or heel of your back foot, like you're balancing on a high wire. Reach from your back fingertips to your front fingertips. Breathe in and then exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse warrior. And we flow this a few times. Exhale, extend. Inhale, reverse. One more time, exhale, extend, reach, lengthen right side body, inhale, up and back. Back to warrior two, breathe in, rise up, star. Turn your toes out, heels in. Hands come to heart. Turn toes forward this time, pivot, hinge at your hips, bow to prasarita, relax head and neck, and then you can find some free flow movement here. I'm offering some twist side to side, maybe just relax head and neck. Roll weight towards toes as you firm your heels into the earth. Feel the release and the calm of being upside down, tapping into calming your nervous system. Enjoy your breath. Touch fingertips to the earth, engage core. Lift halfway, shoulders in line with your hips. Hands can come back to hips or tee out the arms, rise up so strong. 
Inhale, star pose. Exhale, warrior two. Reverse triangle. Straighten your front leg. Come into full trikonasana triangle. So unlock the front knee, little bend. Energy from your front heel to your back heel. And you can stay in triangle or move into Ardha Tundrasana half moon, balancing on your right foot. And spiral inner left thigh up towards the ceiling stack, left hip on top of right. Lengthen crown of head to your back heel. Reach and breathe. Rebend your knee. Gently release back to warrior two. Breath in. Exhale down to the mat, low lunge. Step back, high plank. Take a chaturanga or your vinyasa. I'm going to move into cobra pose. Breathing for a few moments. Some rolling cobras as you inhale. Little to no weight in your hands and exhale to the earth. Chaturanga or plank hold is an option here as well. Push up and back to child's pose, balasana. Knees are as wide as your mat. Toes touch and hips rest towards your heels. Push into your palms a little bit more stretch in the back of the body. Soften your forehead, your third eye into the earth. Just be here with your breath for a few more moments. Listen to the truth and the wisdom of your body. Rise up to your tabletop. Lift your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Let's flow the other side. Take a moment. Inhale, left leg up and back. Exhale, heel then toes, low lunge. Rise up, crescent Anjana Yasana. Fingertips over shoulders, shoulders over hips. Find some movement here as you adjust into your lunge. You can bend the back knee, scissor inner thighs. Focus your gaze. Again, blur the room around you. Feel how powerful you are in this pose. Find a couple movements here as you dip back and expand through the chest to open up deep back bends, two or three. Exhale, vertical twist to the left. Inhale, rise, crescent. Exhale, vertical. One more time, inhale. And exhale, vertical, left. Little twist here, rise up, crescent lunge. Exhale, open up, warrior two. Settle in on this side. Shoulders in line with your hips. Heart is centered. You can always look over your front middle finger or look to the side to give your neck a break. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse. Let's flow that a couple more times. Exhale, extension through the side bodies. Inhale, reverse, shoulders over hips. One more time. Exhale, extend. Nice and easy. Inhale, reverse. Back to warrior two. Inhale, rise up to star as a transition. Adjust into horse, toes are out, heels are in. So find any movement to help you settle in. We'll do some oscillating twists to activate the third chakra. So we've been progressing through this flow. We've been moving from first to second to third chakra. We'll continue to open up and align through the fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh chakra. Come down into your horse. Take a few pulses here. Lift one heel at a time or both heels together. Let's detox through the hips, releasing emotional stress, energy that you've pushed away and forgotten about that's sort of been stuck in the body. Let it all go. A couple more movements that feel good to you here in your horse pose. Might even be good to just keep your head over your heart, shoulders over hips, and close your eyes. Rise to star, then hands come to heart. Let's flow this a few times. Inhale, reach. Exhale, into the horse. Inhale, rise. Exhale, elbows to hips. A little bit of energy here as you exhale. Elbows come to the hips. Inhale, you reach. Exhale, elbows to hips. A few more. Yes, breathe, reach, open up. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse triangle. And then exhale into Trikonasana. Move into half moon, Ardha Tundrasana. So shoulders on the back, pushing through your lifted heel. One line of energy from toes to crown of head. Softly step back into warrior two, breath in. Exhale, down to the mat. Plank pose, chaturanga or cobra. 
Release to the mat and let's find a little bit more spine strengthening. Interlace hands behind you for locust pose. You'll exhale everything out, hip bones down. And then when you're ready, inhale, lift your thighs, lift your shins, lift your knuckles away from your tailbone, stretch, breathe, open. Softly release to the earth, push back, child's pose. Come back to your breath. Feel each exhale as an invitation to soften back into your body, reminding you that everything you need is already here within you. Inhale, rise back to downward facing dog. Let's flow. Inhale, reach your light, right leg up and back. Exhale, knee to nose. We'll cross opposite elbow, same elbow, three point, and then come through, low lunge. Inhale, rise, crescent. Exhale, dip back, open up. Inhale, reach crescent. Exhale, open up, warrior two. Inhale with the breath and then exhale, extended side angle. Reverse up and back, deep breath in. Exhale down to the mat. Let's take a lunge twist as you breathe in. Exhale, step back. Can hold one leg plank here into downward facing dog bend the knee open up the hip release back to downward facing dog inhale left leg up back exhale knee to nose inhale reach exhale left elbow inhale reach exhale right elbow tap one more time inhale reach exhale low lunge rise to crescent breath in dip back open up chest expansion exhale inhale reach up Exhale, open up warrior two. Take the extra breath in here. Lengthen, exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, down to the mat. Lunge, twist, open up, reach, breath. Exhale, step back, one leg plank. Extend your left heel and then to downward facing dog. Bend the knee, open up here. Release to downward dog. Inhale, right leg up and back. Exhale, knee nose. Hold here. Little pulses, five, four, three, two, one. Come through to a low lunge, land with your heel and then your toes. Rise up to your crescent lunge, breath in. Exhale, open up, dip back. Inhale, reach through fingertips. Exhale, adding on full Dakasana airplane pulls into toppling tree, reach through the knuckles back. As you hinge at your hip, drawing your nose towards your shin, Draw your knuckles away from your tailbone up to the ceiling. Keep drawing your chest closer to your shin. Challenge your balance and then release your hands. Standing splits for the transition. Breath in. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, rise to crescent. Exhale, vertical twist. Inhale, crescent, open up. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, back to the mat. Lunge, twist, open up, breathe. Exhale, plant palm, low lunge. Step back, three-legged dog, bend the knee, open up the hip. Option to flip your dog here, open up, big breath. Can take a couple open mouth exhales, back to downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg. Exhale, knee to nose. Hold here for a moment. You're pulling your thigh up towards your chest. Pulse for five, four, three, two, one. One, rise up, crescent lunge, inhale. Big opening, exhale. Reach up, breath in. Exhale, airplane, da kasana. Finding toppling tree as you draw your knuckle. Think about moving your knuckles, your one fist towards your heel. As your heel is lifting, your knuckles are lifting. You're melting your chest gently towards your knee, towards your shin, drop your head. Breathe and then release. Standing splits, breath in. Exhale, low lunge. Rise up, crescent lunge, breath in. Vertical twist, open up. Big inhale, open, warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle. Reverse up and back, stretch your side bodies down to the mat, low lunge. Add that twist, breath in. Exhale, three-legged downward facing dog, kick your foot up and back, bend the knee, flip your dog, breathe. Big open mouth exhales here. Up and around, use your core, downward facing dog. Relax your head and neck, find your breath. Lower to your knees. Lower to child's pose or anahata asana. We'll come to our forearms for a moment. You can move into dolphin or just take forearm plank here.
forearm plank is an option. For dolphin here, you're walking your toes as close as you can towards your face, bringing your hips closer over your shoulders. Play with variations to lift one leg than the other, or maybe even full forearm stand. Pull heart towards thighs. Keep drawing the weight into the blade of your forearms, into your palms. Slowly come back to the earth. Anahata asana, your hips are off your heels, your knees are hip width apart. Extension through the arms as you melt your chest. Open up your throat. Come back to tabletop. Let's thread the needle, curl right arm under, gaze to the left. Breathe into the opening of your chest and your shoulder. We'll change sides. Inhale, left arm up, exhale, thread your needle. Relax the side of your face to the earth. Welcome breath into new areas of your body. And release and come back to tabletop. Lift your hips up and back, downward facing dog. From downward dog, find plank pose. Lower knees, lower chest, eight point pose. Release. Spine strengthening, you can come into cobra or locust or full floor bow, Dhanurasana, bend the knees. Reach back for your feet, exhale everything out first and then on the inhale, you lift your thighs. You lift your chest. Keep drawing your feet into your hands, hands to your feet. Reach, reach, breathe and then release. Come into cat pulling tail pose. Roll onto one side, extend top leg out in front of you. Bottom leg, you'll bend the knee, reach behind you for the foot. You can keep your head propped with your hand or relax your head into your arm or even drop your shoulder back to open up a little bit more. So as you're feeling the stretch in the quad and the bent knee, you can continue to extend your, your top leg forward. Release and change sides. Roll through to your belly. We'll come into Sphinx pose for a moment first. Forearms down, palms to the earth, pull your heart through. You can move into seal pose to straighten the arms, turn your palms out, breathe open, exhale, release, prostration. Stack one hand on top of the other, rest your forehead onto the back of your palms. When you're ready, roll onto the other side, cat pulling tail pose, top leg extends out, bottom knee bends, reach behind you for your foot. Breathe. Find peace in this moment. Release and come back to center. We'll do a shoulder opening. You can tee out the arms or go post the arms. Roll to one side to open up and breathe. Top knee can bend or extend the leg behind you. Change sides as you're ready. If you are keeping the goalpost option, your elbows are right in line with your shoulder heads. And you'll allow the blade of your pinky to be down and your thumb is lifted. Release to center. Push back and up. Tabletop, walk forward on your knees, cross your ankles behind you, come to a seat. Come to a seat. We'll move into double pigeon. If double pigeon is not accessible, you can come into a seated figure four and cross right ankle on top of left thigh. Stay upright with shoulders over hips or hinge at hips and fold, bringing forehead towards the earth using a block or a prop to help to create connection between you and the earth. Hip opening can be quite intense. Engage your breath to help facilitate the release of anything that is stuck and no longer serves. I invite you to hold this space 
beyond that point when your mind says, time to let go. See if you can be there for one or two more breaths before changing sides. We'll release into an archer spine stretch. Take a few moments to bring movement and flow back into the right hip. And extend into a supported seated twist. Then right leg over the left. Hook into the twist from belly button up. You can wrap arm around your front leg or hook elbow in front of thigh. And keep your chin centered over your heart, shoulders level. Root down and lengthen into the twist. Come forward and cross into cow face gomukhasana. One knee stacked on top of the other, heels in, toes out. You can add in an archer's bind here. So right elbow will bend, reach behind your heart, connect fingertips to touch. You can also use a strap, a towel to help connect the hands. Staying upright, lifting the sternum, opening up to breathe, or hinging at your hips and bringing forehead towards your knees. Release. You'll pivot to the left. This will allow you to untwist and then retwist into cow face gomukhasana on the other side. And we'll work in the reverse pattern to open the hips and release. So starting on this side with cow face gomukhasana, knees stack, heels in, toes out, opposite elbow on top, archers bind. Use the presence of your hand behind your heart to help gently nudge and lift a little more opening and space to breathe into. Being aware of any tenderness, any anxiety that may be sitting at the sternum and heart space. Acknowledging it is the window to release it. Take in some breath. Acknowledge again what it feels like to be still and present in your body. Release Gomukhasana and Archer's Bind. We'll come into seated double pigeon, Dwi Ekapada, Raja Kapatasana. And again, you can move into a seated figure four that's more accessible. Take a moment to stay upright or hinge at hips, fold forehead towards earth using a block or a prop. Nurture your body with your breath. Think of your breath as bringing everything that you need, welcoming it. And each exhale, you're just taking away a little bit more of what no longer serves. Notice if there's any rigidness or timidness in the breath, you know, space in the body that may be capturing the breath for a moment. Acknowledge it. And then work past that block. Smooth it out by encouraging your breath to be fuller and deeper. We'll release double pigeon with a little bit of movement and find our seated twist on the other side. Crossing left leg over right. Hooking arm around front leg or elbow in front of thigh, center your chin over your heart from sit bones to the earth, crown of head to the sky, lengthening. Release the twist and then rock side to side, preparing for our final movements of our practice. Come to standing on your knees, hands at hips or above the glutes, moving into a full Ustrasana camel pose. Once again, reach up through left arm, left palm, from heart space, you're opening up your ability to receive. And it's okay to not bring your hand to your back heel and just stay with hands at hips or waistline. Moving to the other side, right hand leads, right arm leads into the presence of giving. Finding this balance of giving and receiving. Hands can come to heart, take a moment. Melt your hips onto your heels. Find some stillness. Make sense of this release and opening, the duality of the practice. Find embryo pose as you keep your hips on your heels and gently melt heart over thighs, forehead to earth, and arms behind you, palms flip up. 
And this pose is bringing you back to simple beginnings, rooting you into your first chakra, grounding you into everything that you need, allowing you to remember that first it's about your basic needs being met. Then you can rise and show up. Release embryo pose. Extend your legs out in front of you. Use your core to engage lying onto your back. Legs up the wall pose. Roll out your ankles, point and flex to the toes. Feel the tenderness of your back into the earth, releasing any tension here, finding neutral energy. Maybe a happy baby. Ananda Balasana bliss pose. Anything that might feel good to you to welcome yourself to Shavasana in a few moments. I'm releasing here the release of the physical practice of yoga with a final supine twist. Feeling the engagement of the breath, the broadening of the rib cage. Each inhale is a gift. There's a reason that you are on your mat practicing yoga, which means to union or yoke mind, body, and being. And though you may not fully understand, the soul has a plan. So just holding space for yourself is enough. Maybe even the most you've done for yourself in a while. Start to draw everything in to center, pulling your body into yourself. Releasing to final Shavasana, melt back into your mat. And take a few moments of stillness for yourself. Let it do the heavy lifting for you. Namma. Shivaya Gurave Satchirananda Myurtaye Nishprapanchaya Shantaya Niralambaya Tejase Taking a moment to honor an invocation that brings you to your truest teacher, your truest path. Trusting the process. Releasing Shavasana when you're ready, coming through to a seat and just taking a few moments of gratitude, graciousness. Hands can come to heart. Honoring the light and the teacher and ourselves and each other. Namaste. Thank you for joining me, friends. See you soon.